Hi everyone, today I'm going to do my um, last two whip updates for February and today's actually Sunday and I would normally be stitching tonight and filming this tomorrow or the next day but I've reached my quota for what I wanted to stitch um, this week on my last whip so I'm going to be stitching something else tonight and I thought it would be safe to do the video today. So um, my week three whip is my Heaven and Earth Design mini bath time and I will insert a picture here of the finished design. And this is how it looked last time you saw it. And this is how it looks now. So I've actually finished page one of the design. And yeah, really loving how this is turning out. I'm just going to use a pen because my nail polish is all coming off and it needs to be redone before I go out tonight. And I don't want to shop it. <laughs> so you can see her red hair there and her arm lifting up over like this. And yeah, really loving this it's coming along quite quickly. I'm happy with the progress of that. So that's that one. And then next I finished my um, Good Fortune project that I was stitching for my brother. I can't actually show it to you because it's wrapped up and ready to give to him tonight. So I will insert, I actually managed to frame it. Um, I mentioned in the last video that it was supposed to be a card, but it was a lot of work involved and I figured if I just put it in a card, it might eventually get thrown out in the trash one day and I really didn't want that to happen. So I just bought a cheap frame and uh, framed it myself and it's not framed perfectly but um, it looks nice and um, I'm hoping he might like to have it on his desk at work and um, I'll insert a picture of it here of the finished piece. So I hope you all like that. I'm really happy with how that turned out. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing his face tonight when I give that to him. And the next thing I worked on, and as I said, I finished um, yesterday my quota, is my 99 bottles. I'll insert a picture here of the finished piece. And this is how it looked last time you saw it. And this is how it looks now. So, last time I had completed these two rows, and now I have completed these two. So, I'm finding with this one that I stitch, I try and aim for four bottles a night. So I get that done in two nights and then on the third night it leaves me with three bottles and then the shelf and then I repeat it the following few days. So that's worked out really well and I'm happy with that so that will get put away now till next month. So it's 44 bottles down and only 55 to go. Now I have a, a new start to show you. Now this one is called refle <laughs> Reflections, not Reflections, it's Reflections, I'll write it down, um, by Pellen Teaser, I hope that's right. This was an online freebie design um, and I'm stitching this one for Easter. I'll insert a picture here, the finished design. Okay, now I'm stitching this one on 28 count raw linen. And I think this is my first monochromatic design and I really, I wanted to do it in um, either a pink or a blue or a yellow for Easter and I asked the kids which colour they thought I should do and they both said purple. 
so okay i chose purple and i know a lot of you love purple but yeah it's probably not one of my favorite colors but anyway this is stitching up really nice this is how it looks so far so my whole design will be in purple and i i can't stop thinking about how nice this would look in one of the um variegated threads that the ones that you all love um, buying for your stash i don't have any of those but um, I, I can see myself stitching this one again in um, a variety of colors i think it would look really pretty but yeah really like this this will be my first easter design so having a lot of fun and i'll be stitching this one tonight instead of 99 bottles but at the moment this is my afternoon piece and my sunday piece One other thing I wanted to show you guys today is something I bought um, off of an, an eBay store in America um, and it might be of interest to those of you that like to cross stitch cards for special occasions. Um, because, because I've just started doing the cards I realised that um, I needed to obviously make custom sized envelopes for my cards and um, did a little bit of research and I came across a product called the Envelope Punch Board. Yes, I've removed my nail polish now, which is what I should have done before. <laughs> okay, so this product is fantastic. It allows you to make um, envelopes of all shapes and sizes, really quick and easy. You punch the holes, you score the lines, you fold them up. Um, here's an envelope. This is the very first envelope I made. Here's double-sided paper. Look at it, it's absolutely perfect so happy with that and uh, then one of my Instagram friends actually pointed out that you can make um, file folders with them and I thought, oh I didn't know that so I went on to the YouTube link that she provided and um, found all these tutorials for all these amazing things that you can make including um, bows and little gift boxes and things like that so I'll just show you for those of you that are interested um, what you get in this envelope punch board and this is the actual device here it has all the sizes on here in inches um, and you just basically look up the card size in this column here and it will tell you what size to cut your fabric uh, sorry your fabric <laughs> talking cross stitching now to cut your paper and then it will tell you where to line it up on the punch board up here for punching. It is so simple. Um, this is where the scoring tool gets held. Obviously you score along there. And it also comes with a set of instructions. And there's all the um, measurements again in more easy to read format and it also includes a sticker if you prefer centimeters to inches and you can put this sticker over the top of the board if you prefer I'm actually just going to keep it separate because sometimes I find inches easier to work with than centimeters believe it or not and um, so I was looking on the um, tutorials online and looking at all these little gift boxes and things and thought, oh, I have to try making some of those so first off I started making some paper bows how cute is that and this one I absolutely love this made these with, like within seconds so simple to make and then I made some gift boxes so these little gift boxes are designed to fit two um, Easter eggs, two of the smaller Easter eggs in there and this is actually a dome gift box which is meant to sit like that and you put a little brad in there I need to get a I need to get a hole punch for there, a little decorative hole punch like they used in the video so that's the only reason that this hasn't been finished and then I made this little one which is an open gift box 
and then I made the larger one. Let's see here, it's a little bit larger. This one's also open, but the sides are folded in. And you just put a, again, I need another hole punch, um, put an oval there and tie it with some ribbon. And, you know, they, they had all these um, decorative tags that they put on them as well. They're so cute. And I really like this one. This one's called Bag in a Box. So if you can see there, the bag is actually loose within the box. So cute. Love it. So it's going to be my new little crafty fun toy and um, I mentioned earlier that I uh, wrapped up my um, present for my brother and I just had a little bit of a play and did this on his present so that's a paper bow I made and then I just cut some card and stamped happy birthday but it's really cute I haven't really done anything like that before I know scrapbooking has become a, a huge thing and I never really got into scrapbooking but um, yeah, I like the way I can just personalise my gifts now using that one envelope punch board. Anyway, just thought I'd show that in case some of you were interested. I'll put a link down below um, of where I purchased that from. Um, I think it cost me $21 uh, Australian, including shipping from America, and the cheapest I could find it for in Australia was around $30. So, and uh, got that really quickly too. So, very happy with that. Anyway, just wanted to share that. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. A uh, very quick video. I'm hoping to get a few videos filmed and, um, and put up online because I need to do some catching up. So uh, thank you all for watching, subscribing, commenting, and I will speak to you all again soon. Bye.